Okay guys, welcome back to a new video today. I'm going to show you how you can create a menu in Visual Studio using WPF. So, okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to import a menu function in our grid. So first of all, let's create a menu, uh, which is just basically called just menu. <laughs> and then we can close it. So, um, and inside of this menu, we are going to put menu items. So the menu is basically basically going to take over the whole screen, I should say. And the menu items is going to be, well, the items inside the menu. So let's create a menu item right now. There it is, the first one that pops up. Enter, and we click it. And as you can see, if I zoom in, we can see it added a little button over here. Or a, you know, yeah, it is a button actually. But we can't see it. The reason why is because we didn't give it a header. So we'll give it a header, which is basically the content, I should say. And we are going to um, name this file, file. And now we can see that it is like, you know, it is showing the correct position. You can also give this a font size if you want, a font weight. Um, but just for now, I'm just going leave to like, leave it like this. So we can create like, I don't know, three or fours. And we are going to call this, I don't know, we're going to call this edit. And this is going to be the view. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going over a bit of like Photoshop, uh, how their menu looks like. But okay, now we only have, well, the headers, I should say. And well, obviously you want a drop down menu. How do we do that? So it's pretty simple as well. Uh, in our menu item, you want to create more menu items. Now what this does is, as you can see, uh, it opened up this little square. This is basically what is inside of the file. So if you click on that button, that will appear. Um, the first thing obviously is, well, we're gonna give this a header. We're gonna call this, call this new something uh, that Photoshop has. Again, we can copy this multiple times. Um, if I can remember right, it's called open and maybe save. Okay, so that is actually it. So let's just run this right now. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so if I click on file, you can see we have new, open and save. We obviously didn't apply anything to our edit and view, but yet again, it's pretty simple. You know the concept by now. So what I want you guys to do is to actually recreate the Photoshop menu. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and if you have any questions, be sure to let them know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.